all started with uh, the balloon sinus, balloon sinuplasty or balloon sinus dilation. Uh, for those of you not familiar, essentially, if you think about a balloon catheter, similar to what was once used in the cardiac world, where uh, they would take a balloon catheter and open up clogged cardiac vessels, cardiac arteries. That's where the, the concept came from. And it got developed to be able to take a balloon catheter, place it in the clogged sinus, and unclog the sinus. And what that allowed us to do is to be able to open up blocked and clogged sinuses in a way without requiring surgery, because we're not removing any tissue. We're simply dilating and remodeling and opening those blockages. And after a couple of years, we realized, you know what? We don't really need to put patients, they, they don't need to go to sleep for this because this can be done in, a, in such a minimally invasive way. We can do this with local anesthesia. Mm -hmm. And what, what evolved from about 2010 to now is all the techniques that we use for topical anesthesia, to make an excellent patient experience that it's not a big deal for the patient to undergo this under local right in our office. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, that's been the, the game changer, both for the patients as well as us, because now I don't have to tell the patient, you need to go into general anesthesia with all the, the potential risks involved and the downtime of having general anesthesia. For some patients, they have uh, medical conditions where it's actually dangerous for them to you know, it's or, or more risky for them to take uh, a general anesthetic. And it's also just from a, a patient flow scheduling standpoint, we do these procedures in our office pretty much every day of the week. We just work it into our schedule. We don't have to uh, schedule uh, anything at the hospital or the surgery center. So what that's done is it really opened the door for doing sinus work and nasal work procedures in, in a local setting, in a much less invasive way. And uh, for the patient, they, the, that downtime after the procedure is much less because they're not having the big procedures and they're not having general anesthesia. Usually most of our patients are back to whatever the routine is, whether it's work, school, being a parent, being retired within 24 to 48 hours. I, I'd say that's the vast majority of, of the experiences. And What's also happened is as we got very comfortable doing, let's say, a balloon procedure in, in someone in the office setting, we realized that we could do some other nasal procedures as well as needed because the, the nose and inside the nose and the sinus openings really lend themselves to this topical anesthesia protocol. It's, it's not very difficult for us to get someone completely numb and not really feel what's going on while we're doing our work. And most of our procedures last about 15 or 20 minutes. It's not like we're in there very long, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of benefit afterwards. Mm -hmm.